So what's an API? API stands for Application Programming Interface, and it's a system that makes it easy for programmers to use each other's data. To a programmer, a website is a chaotic mess. It can change its design, reorganize content to keep visitors interested, and contains a ton of irrelevant stuff like illustrations, colors, and fonts. An API provides a consistent structure for data, one that's stable and reliable. At Sunlight, we've collected vital government information into a number of APIs that power our projects. Actually, for most of our projects, building the API is the first thing that we do. But like the rest of our work at Sunlight, our APIs are open source and free to anyone to use. To get started, go to api.sunlightfoundation.com. From here, you sign up to get a free key to unlock all of our data sets for your own projects. Let's check out what our APIs have to offer. The Congress API allows you to find information about your representatives. First, who are they? It can look up your representatives and senators based on your location and provide contact information for them. The API also includes office addresses, phone numbers, and verified social media handles. It's also a kind of legislative Rosetta Stone, providing a key to the ID numbers used by various other organizations and databases. The Congress API has been used in advocacy campaigns across the country to connect citizens to their representatives. For example, Wikipedia used this data to connect users with their legislators during the fight over SOPA, the Stop Online Piracy Act. Supplementing the Congress API is the Real-Time Congress API, which provides accurate, up-to-date information about what's happening on Capitol Hill. It includes information about floor updates, hearing schedules, whip notices, key documents, and votes. It powers our popular mobile apps and is used by Hill staffers, journalists, and informed citizens to stay updated. In addition to the action that's happening in Congress, we can help you stay on top of what's being said there. The Capital Words API organizes speeches in the congressional record by legislator, so you can track what issues representatives are talking about in Congress. This API is behind our Capital Words project, which examines who says what in Congress. One blogger used this API to compare vocabulary used by each party, and another studied how often legislators use the word kindness. Beyond Washington, we've compiled legislative information from all 50 states as part of our Open States project. The Open States API is the first free, comprehensive source of state government data. It includes information about state representatives, their committee assignments, the bills they're introducing, and what's happening with that legislation. The Minnesota Post used this API to build an interactive graphic reflecting what Minnesota elected officials did in session. The Influence Explorer API includes federal and state campaign finance data, lobbying information, federal grants and contracts, contractor misconduct and EPA violation information, and federal regulatory data. This data powers Influence Explorer, our flagship tool for exploring how companies, organizations, and individuals influence our government. Some of this information comes from partner organizations, like the Center for Responsive Politics and the National Institute on Money and State Politics, so the data has different licensing terms than our other APIs. As you can see, the APIs we built power both our own projects and serve as building blocks for endless possibilities. For example, we use the Capital Words API for a study about how Congress is now speaking at a lower grade level than they used to. And several of these APIs combine to power Scout, our legislative search and alert system. By providing our data and APIs, we empower all developers to make use of government data in their own projects. We're going to be adding new APIs, so check back soon. And in the meantime, head to api.sunlightfoundation.com, register for a key, and begin exploring the world of government data that's already available.